Hi, I'm Connie from Patchworks, and today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite new piece of gear, the Erica Synth Percons drum machine. I love this machine. I waited a really long time for it to come in. And the reason I was curious about it is that I've been using the Octatrack mainly for my drums and rhythms for live performances. And so I've been using samples and doing sample mangling and I wanted a machine to complement the Octatrack that could do drum synthesis and do really interesting morphing liquid sounds. And also I wanted a machine that had a lot of character. And the Percons certainly has a lot of character, as you will hear. Uh, I'll show you some of the basic features, do an overview of the sounds, uh, also show you some of my favorite features with the machine, and then I'll do a short performance at the end. So the Percons is a hybrid drum machine. It has four voices that are digital. Each voice has three algorithms, and each of those algorithms has three modes. Each voice also has an analog multimode filter, so low pass, band pass, and high pass with overdrive, and a dedicated effect send. And so the effect send is normal to the digital BBD, it's an emulation. So if nothing is plugged into the send and return jacks on the back, then uh, the effect send knob will send the signal to the BBD. If there is something plugged into the send and return, so if you're using a pedal, such as what I have here, the Strymon Night Sky or the Maris Auto Bit, then you'll be sending to that instead of to the BBD. Then in the master section, we have a compressor. So you can set the threshold and the amount of compression, as well as a master volume. There's also a dedicated modulation section, and this can actually be routed to several destinations at the same time. And that's one of my favorite things about this machine, which we'll get into in a second, is how easy it is to modulate various parameters. As you can see, there's no screen, so you don't have to do a lot of menu diving. And all the information that you need to know is indicated by the LEDs in this uh, sequencer section, and that's actually very easy. So here uh, we also have a tempo section. So this is going to be a tempo knob that goes from, I believe, 20 to 420 BPM. And you can also set that by clicking shift and turning the tempo knob, and you'll see that the digits are indicated uh, like hundreds, tens, and ones. So just to show you some of the sounds, uh, right now we're not using any of the effects. We've got the effects end turned off. Uh, this is voice one. We're gonna just toggle through a few different algorithms and kind of play with the filter. So you can hear that we're getting really nice kick and bass drum type sounds. Then voice two. Really good for bass lines. Uh, then voice three. So the three algorithms we have here are going to be resonant drum, slap, and car plus. And then voice four, which has hats and noise. So I think with voice four, either you can do hats or you can get some really interesting noisy textures if you set the decay time to be really long. The Percons has a 16 step sequencer. You can see all 16 steps for each of the four voices. So one, two, three, four. You probably noticed that I was triggering the sounds with these buttons, these like keyboard type buttons on the right side. And when you go to program in patterns, it's very easy. You just 
click the corresponding LEDs. Can you remove them? So when you click into the pattern section, you see all the different patterns that are saved and you can actually record patterns to different slots with a total of 64 slots. And also you can save up to 64 kits and you can configure the percons to link kits to patterns or have the kits be freely assignable to patterns as you're going along, which is a really great feature for performances. So right now I'm just recalling a pattern that I wrote is very simple, but just to demonstrate a couple different ways to record modulation. One is that you can just hold down record and change any knob. And it will record that automation in. You can also do per step automation. So if you hold a step down and you alter the position of the knobs, then it will also be saved. If you want to clear your automation, you can just go shift, clear, tap. But if you want to just clear everything on that sequence, you can just go clear, tap. So now we have a clean sequence again. Another feature that I love about the Percons is that there's a really great modulation matrix. The way that you get there is you just click this mod button on the side here, and it's basically divided into two halves. So for each voice, you have eight different modulation destinations, tune, decay, parameter one, parameter two, VCF, drive, effects, and level. And then on the right side, you have the percentage of modulation. So the modulation type is going to be uh, determined by the position of this knob, uh, the waveform that you choose here, and then the level of modulation overall. But then here, say I wanted to have modulation of the tune parameter of voice one, then I would click into here, and then say I want 40%, then that is effectively programming in 40% modulation to the tune parameter. Then you can uh, go into decay, say you want uh, 80% of modulation on decay and so on and so forth for all of the different voices. So that's really awesome because you can program in the amount of modulation per destination on each voice and then change that on the fly here. And actually uh, in the modulation, there's a sync button. So if you turn sync on, then this button will actually be uh, synced to clock divisions. So with 12 o'clock being uh, just one to one and then divisions down to the left and multiplications to the right. So just to demonstrate this modulation situation, I just have a pattern that's uh, just all trigs on on voice four. Just hear how that sounds. So right now I have some light modulation, about 40% on the tune. I'm gonna turn that up to 80, and we're just going to scroll through these waveforms. And then we can do the same with perhaps the filter. and decay. Save that kit. And then assign the same kit to that pattern. Go back to the original kit. So you can see how what I'm doing is I'm changing the sound, recording it in as a new kit, and then advancing patterns and assigning different kits. So it's subtle, but I think these subtle changes that you can actually do on the fly in performance or in recording settings is what makes the Percons 
really, really great. You can see I have like all these different kits saved around. And sometimes when I'm exploring or just trying to come up with something new, I write new patterns and then I just assign different kits that I've made in the past to change the sound suddenly. And uh, usually there are some pleasant surprises in that process. The thing I haven't shown yet is the BBD. It's one of my favorite features. So we'll get into that. We'll get into using the BBD and then also using some different effects pedals. And really the sky is the limit with this. You could use any pedal. You could uh, do the sound returns on each voice and you could really, really alter the bass sound of the percons into something that's totally unique and totally uh, your vibe. So what I'll do is connect the night sky. So the night sky will be the send effect for voice one. And for voice two, we'll use the auto bit, which is the 8-bit bit, bit crush pedal by Maris. So now when I turn up the effect send knob, it's sending to the night sky. And then I can, of course, change parameters on the night sky. And get some really interesting spaciousness going on. It's kind of cool. Then on the auto bit uh, on voice two, Uh, I'm, this is me opening up the filter on the auto bit. And then voice three and voice four are still sending to the bucket brigade delay, so we can turn those up. So hopefully from that short demo, you can see just what endless possibilities there are for either using the onboard BBD or using your own effects pedals with the Percons. I think the use of effects pedals really allows the Percons to be more than just a percussive machine. Uh, as you heard, voice one typically is used as a kick drum or uh, something that's, you know, really got that low end power, but you can turn it into this like very ethereal drone quite easily with the use of a pedal and just the onboard controls as well. Yeah, so now I'm going to do a short performance with the Percons and the Octatrack. So you'll see a combination of samples and drum synthesis from the Percons in action.